Hello and welcome everybody to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage and today we're going to be having a look at Helium. Before we jump into the TA, I just want to say thank you for watching the video. If you're enjoying the content, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already, and turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video. Also in the description below, you'll find a link to the Discord one or come check it out. Okay, so let's get into this. Well, this is a community request and basically within this structure, we have a few ways of looking at it. We can either look at it as a five wave move to the downside, in which case we would potentially still be within this fourth wave move looking to complete another move to the downside however basically within this structure there is also another way of counting it i'm just going to switch it over here for a second and if we turn this on we can also look potentially to count to subdivide this wave in the middle here and look at this as a w and then this would would have to look at as a triangle in the middle here for an x wave and then effectively a y wave to the downside so it, technically possible that we could actually be um at a completion of this of this y of this y wave it doesn't mean that there can't be further continuation to the downside but it does mean that we could potentially look to get a bit more of a move to the upside here so if this is the case and we've got a low point here what we could be doing is expecting to actually break back out of this um channel that we've been stuck in and look to move away from this zone though we need to wait for some more confirmation on this because it is also possible that even if this is a W, X and a Y instead of a five wave move as we were looking at it, it is possible that we could actually get another, basically we could look at this as a W, X, Y, and we get an, another X wave and then we actually break down one more time in a corrective structure. So the difference between this and the five wave move is that this, um, this move will break down in three waves. Whereas if we're looking at that five wave move, effectively it would be looking to break down in a five wave move. Okay, so let's get into the smaller time frame stuff now. So basically it's it's kind of important how we how we react off of this five wave move because the problem is the way that this move begins over here, it is possible we can uh, we can look at this as an A, a B, where we've come lower than this. And this would then be what we call a expanding flat correction where this is an a b and a c and then actually that could be a corrective structure and then we look to break down so if we are forming a expanding flat correction it's possible that we could actually form complete this move to the upside here then start to break down so we just got to be aware that um, even though we've got this five wave move here if we wanted wanted to flip bullish what i'd want to see is basically within this we'd be looking at potentially one two three four and a five then we'd want to see that three wave retracement coming down and basically what we wouldn't want to do is um break this low point so if we break back down but below this low point here of 15369 effectively that um invalidates any bullish structure that we have here currently and we'd have to um consider then that actually we're probably going to come down and retest this trend line one more time um so this is what we're just uh, tracking on sort of a bigger scale. Yeah, I just want to talk about this. If we were looking for, like I said, that bigger that bigger sort of move to the upside, we want to see that retracement, find support, and then basically break this trend line and then sort of move to the upside and and form good structure along the way. Um, but un basically, until it's a um, until it's a trending structure, so until we get something like this, where we have this as a one, a two, three, four, and a five to the upside effectively until we get a bigger five wave move like this um we need to just be aware that this could just roll over and continue with the rest of the markets particularly with um some of the uh, some of the other coins we are ex anticipating another low so we just got to be careful with this move because even though it's a five wave move it doesn't mean anything on its own it could be the end of a correction okay so let's come into the time the lower time frame here and there's two ways that i've been looking at this move from this low point and basically I'm going to flip it onto the normal five wave move so we can potentially count this as a normal five wave move here we we would have to look at this as a as a wave one to this high this is a two then one two three four five two so that'd be one two potentially uh this third wave is a bit iffy it can be here if we count it slightly different um and it can also be here so it's one of those where we're going to have to just see what happens from this point if it is here what we'd be expecting from this high point is i'd be looking potentially for this to be a diagonal pattern but the thing is we've started to come down to quite deep here now and i wouldn't want to see it go much deeper um 
basically what we'd be looking for is a diagonal like this pattern to play out the thing is with this we couldn't go below this um nine uh, two nine two three seven area if we drop back below that then effectively what we'd have to do is um is say that this fifth wave actually probably ended into here and what we have then is this is an a this is a b and then we're probably going to look to break down deeper um so basically what we, we have to watch out for here is whether we can maintain this zone uh to for it to be a diagonal what i'd be looking for within this is effectively the thing is it's come down a bit too much now it is still possible uh i was hoping it was going to stop higher up though just looks more like a channel now so it's possible that it could still be but um it's looking less likely normally well with diagonals what you want to see is um a contracting wedge pattern between it so you just got to be careful with this currently it is possible that we we move up from here now and basically what i'd want to see is from this point here i'd want to see an a a b and a c to the upside potentially looking to ch challenge this trend line again and then actually looking to um looking to break down from there so this channel line here this three four nine eight six would be an interesting zone if we get a move back to the upside here could potentially look to um to interact with this and then look to break down from there if that's the case what we'd be looking for then is what happens after this five wave move so there, like i said there's two ways we can look at it so we can look at it this way in which case we'll be looking for deeper retracement after that and what we'd be looking at then is the fact that we could if i come off this low point and we say we come up into that trend line again um we could be looking for a deeper move to the downside here this 50 percent would come to this two three one six two and alternatively we'd be looking between there and this um one eight three three two zone that would be a zone i'd be looking for for support within this if we're going to look to progress to the upside and basically what that would be doing is i'm actually going to just draw this box on here but basically what we'd be looking for then is effectively looking to make this a um this an a or one looking for this retracement back down into these zones and then looking to progress to the upside again so we'd have to see how we react on this move to the downside but if we do actually start to retrace here this 50 percent to the 786 786 is really as deep as i'd want to go for this to be um a wave two depending on what the structure of it is however um yeah basically we wouldn't want to hold this zone and then we wouldn't would want to move away so we'd want to get five wave structure away from this again if we fail to do that we'd have to take this as an abc to this high point and then actually that we are starting to break down in the next leg of either a fifth wave or a um or a y a z wave in a more complex correction that we went over earlier so basically within this this is the one way we can look at it so we can look at it potentially as looking to complete in this um in this way i don't really like the the structure of it anymore um because of the fact that it's no longer contracting we can argue that it is something like this because it's not actually it broke down there but it didn't actually close below it so we can argue that it is slightly contracting depending on how we draw these lines so that that's basically what i'm looking for if we come back up and interact with this one more time what i'd then be expecting for is actually um, a progression to the downside if we are going to get further extension within this basically we'd have to then look no it doesn't it, i'm not really anticipating it but if we do move back above this four 12 zone then what we could have is actually that we have some further extension in here where this has been a one two this has been a one two and then actually we, we're forming a bigger five wave move which would actually look to push much higher in this in this instance um yeah if we move past this four one two we'd have to anticipate that we're actually still having some extension in here and that we're actually still within this third wave and um, looking to complete it and then we'll get that fourth wave to the downside either that or we are getting some extension within this fifth wave move and then we'll look to break down from there okay so again this is the this is the simplest way of looking at it as an impulse um there is also the potential we have some some extensions within this and if i turn this off and i flip that into the extension we can count this slightly different and what we'd be looking for then is we can count this as a one two one two 
in which case we would have our three, four, and five into here, and we'd still actually be looking for this fourth wave to the downside. So currently this zone that we would be looking for would be actually in this, um, let me get rid of this, would be down here at this 28102 to this 23441. That would be the zone we'd be looking for as a um, as a fourth wave if we've still got an additional one here. The um, diagonal pattern is still potentially possible with, with within this fifth wave here. However, if we fail to move back up here and, and form this uh, additional leg, because that's one, two, three, four, and five to the upside, so we haven't got that yet. If, um, if we fail to make this additional leg to the upside here, it is also possible that we have just completed this fifth wave into here, and that what we have here is actually, this is an A, this is a B, and then we're going to look to break down for a C wave. So if that's the case, effectively, what we wouldn't want to do, if we're looking for this five wave move down for a C wave, we don't want to cross back above this 3409 area, and we'd have to look at this potentially as a, as a one, as a wave one, one, two, it doesn't have, it doesn't really have good structure within it, um, you would have to argue that there's a flat in here, that's one, two, we're making one, two, and would actually start to fall off from there, so, Basically, if we move back up against this, up above this higher, it becomes less likely that we're already starting an impulse because, like I said, we'd have to count this potentially as a one, two, one, two. So if we cross back above this high point here of this three, one, twenty, then effectively it would make this invalidated. But what we'd be looking for for confirmation, if we want to look at this move like that, is we'd want to move down. If I get this onto here. And we'd want to make a third wave to the downside like this. And what we'd be looking for there is potentially looking to target our... Um, let's have a look with the fib. So if we move to the downside, confirmation of this third wave would come in by crossing this 28554. Alternatively, we, like I said, we could actually come back up against this high point and then form that, that A, B, and then C to the upside. So we've just got to give it a bit of time. If we do break down the um the target zone for this as a five wave move, if it only moves to this two uh, one point six one eight, effectively would be down here towards this um two eight one three seven to this two seven five two one. That would be a zone we could actually look to target into, and that would be um a potential fifth wave move if we if we carry on with this structure to the downside. It is possible that this move could also um, form in a different structure where we just get um, three wave moves initially where this becomes an A, we push back up for a B and then we form a C, then that makes a, an additional wave and looks to break down further. So basically within this, either we're going to be forming this um, diagonal pattern here or we could potentially extend to the upside but that's not looking very likely at this point, only if we start to get some legs on this would I think that's going on. Um, but Basically, this diagonal pattern here is seeming quite likely within this. Uh, we could get this as a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No, or it is possible we could actually get a diagonal from this path, from this point where this becomes a fourth. But I would have wanted this fourth wave to be a bit bigger. So that's why I'm not rushing into calling it that way around. I think it makes more sense um, with the other count if we've completed that third into here and we're looking at this whole thing as a diagonal. That makes more sense to me than if we are just trying to like put it in here because I don't think there's enough space and I don't think that um, it's come down enough to match with this with this um, wave two down here so yeah I think uh, I think that it's probably either that first diagonal or we're still within this fourth if we're still in the fourth like I said we're going to be looking for this as an A a B and then we're going to be looking for um, evidence that this is a one two three four five pattern to the downside if that doesn't play out then it's probably the fact we are still going higher here um, off of this zone the target for that would be this three five three five four six that's three five six four five to this three four two zero that would be a zone we'd be looking to target out if um if in fact we have our fourth wave uh basically over here like i said i don't think it's very likely um but that would be the zone we look to push up into so it'll be interesting to see how we interact with this um with this channel line it could be that we come up break through it fail to find support and break back down uh just want to have a look at something here 
basically let's turn this on so we're still above the ichimoku on the one hourly yeah you see we're currently within this ichimoku on the on the daily so it is possible that we could actually break down at, at any point within this because um what happens is with this move it shows potential um resistance and actually it's the first it's only the second time it's interacted with it so it's possible that we could actually look to break through but even if we break through this channel line, I'd still be cautious about this top line area here of this um, $3.92. It is possible that even if we do break up into this point, basically we could look to break down again. So what's important is what happens after this move. If we get that deeper retracement then we're talking, that we talked about, then we could look for one, two, three, and then look to push to the upside. Alternatively, if we just move back down into this, this box here, it's possible we could get that additional fifth wave to the upside and then look to break down. Okay, so I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And leave us some feedback in the comment section down below. In the description, you'll find a link to the Discord. Why not come and check it out? It's free to join. Once you're in the general chat here, just add mention a member of staff. We'll be happy to help you out. Also in the description, you'll find an affiliate link to Bybit. This is a great exchange. It's the one we use when you're doing our trading, whether that's spot or leverage trading. It really is a great exchange to use. It's got great features within it and we highly recommend it. Okay, so everyone have a good evening and we'll see you in the next video. Take care out there everyone.